Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today I am back on Valheim RSPS. In today's video we will be covering um, Invention and Archaeology, which are the two latest elite skills that have been added to the server. Now before we get into that, I just want to announce a really big giveaway of 100 bonds once again. 20 of these bonds will go to the first commenter on today's video and then there will be 4 winners winning 20 of these bonds which will be randomly picked from my comment section so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed, make sure to turn on notifications, make sure to like the video and comment your in game name down below. As always the winners will be picked in just about 2 days, they will be announced in my community discord, in the server discord and on my pinned comments so definitely make sure to join those. Now for invention you can click the home teleport right here and go to Faldor. And Faldor is the invention guild that you will have to go to and from there on you can actually start with the skill. So once you are here at the Faldor lodestone you can just walk uh, or run north and then you will get to the invention guild where you can enter. As you can see right here it will take a bit until you are there but as you can see here is the invention guild. You can enter it through these doors. Anyways, as you can see, once you enter this, you may now use all the inventors workbenches around the world, which also means the one at home. Now while training you will level up and you will be able to discover new things. If you get a level where you can discover something new you can just click on discover right here and then you can click yes do it. You will earn yourself a certain amount of invention XP and you will also be able to do a new research later on. You can check out your discoveries right here with all the levels as you can see there are quite a bit of things that you can discover all the way up to level 118 which is the large gizmo bag that will be the last thing that you will be able to discover. Of course the higher your level the more experience it will gain when you discover something so if you want to go ahead and you can just go ahead and discover everything right here you will be getting yourself some experience while doing this as well of course um, if you have discovered some things you can go to manufacture right here and then you can select one of these of course skilling outfits is just bonuses while skilling you need a certain amount of charges or um, skilling fragments for this and for the rest you still have um, other things like skilling related miscellaneous as well as you can see for example some siphons and all that stuff and let's not run away real quick but um, as you can see right here junk refiner and some other things alchemical onyx for example which will be used for some other things um, besides that you of course have the gizmo and augment related which are the most important ones augmentations you as you can see right here you will have an augmenter with that you will be able to augment a piece of armor for example my trim masterwork plate body once that is augmented you can make gizmo charges which will have some benefits as well and if you add them onto your armors you can make it even more op you can do the same with weapons of course as you can see you can make weapon gizmo shells and armor gizmo shells you do need a certain amount of parts to actually go ahead and create this you can get parts by dissolving items i believe but i don't know 100 percent sure how to do it so let me check that out all right so the, to disassemble items you can basically disassemble anything you, you have to use the items right here on the workbench then you'll see how long it will do you will also get a bit of experience from this and in your chat you'll see what um armor or or what parts you will be actually um getting from this as you can see the orange ones are more rare uh, parts that you will be getting of course the different parts are needed for different things to combine if you also have some bigger items for example um, let's say large bladed rune salvage these will give a lot better rewards as you can see once i use these on the bench you will have more rewards and also more different rewards as well as you can see components like um, sharp ones dexterous and you will need these to um, make some different gizmo shells depending on if you are going for armor or weapons you will have different gizmos that you can fill up now if you want to know what components you have you can check the view components right here as well and then you will see I have for example 34 base parts I got some metallic parts in here and you will also see the parts that you can get but you won't have already as you can see for example enchanting components I have zero of these at the moment um, and then these are the rare materials and of course these are the junk materials you will be able to get junk from basically anything depending on what item it will be more common or more rare to get junk um, materials but as you can see these are the commons the uncommons and then of course the rares rares include like armadillo components and stuff which are quite expensive to get because you will need to disassemble some armadillo armor in order to get these but these can give good things like i think you need armadillo components for sharpshooter 5 now if you put that on a boat that is insanely overpowered so that would be really sick 
Now, if you have invented a piece of equipment or a weapon within um, Augmenter, you will be able to train it up up to level 12 or even higher if you want to. Um, if you go for example a whip, if you have multiple whips and you um, augment a whip and then you disassemble it at level 10 you'll get maximum experience however if you do for example a noxious bow which you don't want to disassemble because it's really expensive and if you disassemble it it will be gone into nothing and you will just get materials back um, if you want to disassemble for example a noxious bow you have to make a siphon uh, a gizmo siphoner my bad and with that gizmo siphoner you will be able to siphon um, the experience from your weapon however you need to get to level 12 to get the same amount of experience um, that you would get if you would disassemble a level 10 weapon but if you just do combat you will train these up automatically which is really nice however you do have to make divine charges in order to charge your augmented stuff so um, as you can see right here divine charges they will cost 20 simple parts per divine charge to create but if you just make a bunch of those you'll be set for life Anyways, I know I went over that super quickly, but that is because I want to put two skills in one video. I hope it was clear enough for you guys to understand the first mechanics of how you can start and work up your way with invention. It is actually pretty simple and it is a really overpowered skill once you get into the higher levels and it's definitely very useful for PVMing situations. Anyways, moving on to, of course, um, archaeology, as you can see right there. You can go to the archaeology guide to start the skill off. As you can see, there will be multiple dig sites. However, you need to go to the guild first before you can even go to any of the other zones because you need a higher level in order to start working there on archaeology. Anyways, as you can see right here is the guild. Now, this skill hasn't been released that long yet, um, but in the guild, you will be able to start out archaeology. It is actually a pretty simple skill. However, this skill will take quite a while for you to progress, especially in the early stages. Of course, before you actually start with archaeology, you have to follow the archaeology guide, which uh, will just give you a quick walkthrough. You will get some items that you will need to complete archaeology. And when that, once that is done, you'll be able to start out. So as you can see, once you uh, start the tutorial, you will actually get explained what you will have to do. You will get a bronze matroc, which is the basic thing that you will have to use once you are the lower level. Of course, the higher your level, the more you will be able to upgrade this into iron up all the way to rune and stuff. As you can see, you will be getting some materials while you are um, excavating, for example, imperial iron, santazin uh, soil purple hard wood and of course the higher your level is the more um, other excavations you will be able to do and the more other items you will be able to receive also the higher experience you will be getting once you get better materials now these materials will be used for multiple different things as well and from time to time you'll find a damaged um, item that you will be able to repair as you can see oh wait what i just got how am i this lucky i just got myself the archaeology pad uh, right there which is insane okay let me just get that out real quick so as you can see right there i got the archie pad which is the archaeology pad and um yeah i have no clue why i am this lucky with pets on this game like in my last video i also got two pets but anyways what i was saying was with this sword you can actually go ahead and repair it as you can see you will need the following items five imperial iron and five purple heart woods i don't have these at the moment but once you have these this will be repaired and then you can hand in the weapon somewhere around here to another npc and you will get some more experience also once you get up to level 5 i believe it is you will be able to move on to the carrot um dig site and so on the higher the level the more you will be able to progress and each time you progress you will be getting better materials and also better um, items that you'll be able to get from here now if you have some of these soils as you can see from the tutorial you will be able to um, use them right here and screen them and then you will have a chance to receive some of these other materials you will also have the chance of course to get nothing as you can see i am getting quite unlucky on these but you do still get a bit of experience while you are doing this now as you can see i got myself all the items that i need to actually go ahead and recover this however if you have some items that you want to store there is a material storage container in here you can stack up to 25 materials in here as you can see so if you don't want them in your bag or you don't have the uh, need for them right now you can just put them in the storage container anyways once you do have the materials you will be able to restore the artifacts that you have which will gain you of course a nice amount of experience once that is done 
and then you have the full sword in here now once you have restored an artifact you can go ahead and talk to Velusia right here and you will get handed in some rewards as you can see I got a mortal cup and also the currency notes uh, chrono notes as you can see right there which you will be able to spend in a store now if you want to check out everything that you will be able to collect as you can see right here from all the different things that you will be able to collect all of these will give you a reward of course in total for example the um, Zerogen 4 will give you 8500 chrono notes which you will be able to spend on the store then. So of course you will be getting relics when you complete these you can offer the relics right here and then you will get a boost from that the relic that I just used would give me 50 um, HP bonus I believe but as you can see you uh, I managed to access the the power that the relic contains so now I will be able to get 50 HP more than I would get normally anyways once you have done the tutorial you can chat uh, you or you can trade Matty Ock right here where you can buy yourself some upgrades all the way up to a rune metoc which will be better for excavating of course you'll also be able to buy this archaeological so uh, soil box which can store up to 50 soils per different type that you have and you will get yourself this archaeology uh, journal which you can use to teleport right here to the guild also you can check out the progress of items that you'll be able to find as you can see I've got, got nothing done yet you also have the shop right here where you can spend your um, chrono notes that you'll be getting for completing some things uh, and with that you can go ahead and buy this and rise meteorite shard which is really good of course you can also go ahead and buy some of the archaeologist or master archaeologist armor set which is pretty nice as well now to go a bit more in depth about the relics as I mentioned before you will get relics if you hand in some items that you got from excavation as you can see you can get up to three uh, powered from relics in here as you can see I already got the first one which is the font of life of course which will give me a 50 HP boost throughout everything. Um, but besides that, as you can see, um, you will be able to put in three mo uh, two more relics. However, if you are like if you have a higher level of um, archaeology and you want to put in a better relic, you will be able to remove one of these three, which will cost a certain amount of chrono nodes. But once that is done, you'll be able to offer your new relic into this for more benefits. So archaeology is a really nice skill as well, because of course, all the relics will be giving some nice boosts or nice benefits to your account, which will help you overall. With all that said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure you enter the giveaway. I hope you guys found this video a little bit helpful and made clear on how to do invention and archaeology. But with all that said, I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.